All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yeah, and it is finally completed. The interior, exterior, everything on the townhouse. So, let's take a real quick look at it. Before going on to other... Wow, look at that. Cool projects. All right. So, uh, it's pretty complete. I don't know if I like that there. We have the garage finally finished with supercars and laundry facilities and storage and great. It's done. Come inside. We got this real cool vestibule area. I like it. Turned out really cool. I like using these from um, the uh, simple arcs. Just adds a real cool element to it. Come on over here. And um, I don't know how much was done. I did a live stream, which uh, each live stream that I do, it is getting better and better. I finally got the settings figured out. And... OBS Studio didn't drop my settings, but what it did, I misread um, the streaming setting. So part of the stream, the uh, bitrate was off a little bit. I had it set to 6,000, and YouTube and other streaming platforms like it at 2,500 constant bitrate. So I will do another couple more tests before committing to some sort of schedule. So here is the living room. This is the formal living room. This is where you come in and, and sit and everybody, you know, talks. Hardly gets used. <laughs> so, and, um, yeah. And this is, this is kind of like the uh, informal sitting room. No kidding. But yeah. <laughs> nice dining room area. Um, we have the kitchen I showed last time. I put the pantry in with with all the fun stuff and we have a bathroom for realism yes and yeah got windows all over the place curtains i have to do some more with the backyard I figured out i planted some birch trees which are really cool and got the cooker going got a patio so yeah, it, uh, this area over here is really cool. I want to preserve this. There's the finished outside of both of them. And it looks good. I'm kind of not digging the two different size balconies. However, you'll see why in a moment. So then you come back inside here. And I wonder what color... That should be, oh, that's dark gray. I did go with dark gray down here because that's light gray. And we come up and then we have the lighter gray upstairs. Cool. We have the first, we come up onto the second floor and we have the first bedroom. And this one actually kind of turned out better than the, the master suite upstairs here. That's just a makeshift wardrobe. Nothing against the wardrobe and home decor. However, you could do a lot of you could do a lot of different things that I've shown in making your own wardrobe. So if we look for um, we look for the wardrobe that comes in home decor, it's nice. I'd like to change the wood, which you can if you get adventurous. You can go into the code. It, it's using like the default wood. Think about the the thing about the um, the default wood texture, but um, shouldn't be that hard to change it. And when you right click on it, you get all your, you know, you can put stuff in there, and you can change your wardrobe. Cool. I wonder what I can't remember what I'm wearing. Uh, oh, I'm I'm stuck in here. Oh, I'm in. I'm still in the um, the Charizard outfit. <laughs> Yeah. 
So that's that's the home decor one, and it only takes up one space, as you can see here. So and it, that's kind of big, but it's to each his own what they like. So let's continue on bathroom. Yay! And fish tank. So that one's done. So you come out here, and we just have a general purpose computer center, some potted plant action going on here, which is nice. And we have a, um, a media center. Very nice. Except for why? Oh, I know why I did that, because it was to make it um, symmetrical. Yeah. So... In the live stream, I did a I did a practice live stream. I built a lot of this stuff up here. It looks really cool. I really like the color that I chose for this. And it's got just enough texture in it. It could use a little more texture, but it's like a it's like a grayish tan mix. And I'm going to be creating some blocks for that. I'm still working on on my mod because I want to get all that taken care of. So this is the second floor. This is the general purpose, re the general living area, media type center. There is a bathroom here for the people on the second floor, as you can see. And this over here was supposed to, it could be either bed a, a spare bedroom. I turned it into a small library, small reading room with some of my Japanese panels that I custom made from home decor's panels. So they, they, they look like a, a convincing bookshelf. Yeah. And then we have, we have another bedroom over here, which turned out really nice. Another wardrobe, another bathroom for this bedroom. So yeah, it's coming along. The colors, the colors all seem to fit. I like, I like the overall color palette. It might be, a, some people might think it's too much grays or too much dull, but I think it's all right. So you come up to the third floor and this has all been enclosed and there is what, how I did this, how I built this, the idea behind it is if I had a complete floor to myself, how would I do it? And this is what I came up with. What is most important to me. And that's how I built it. So you can see the uh, extended patio up here. Patio balcony up here. Great views of the new birch trees. That birch tree kind of grew kind of weird. But it has all, and these trees kind of block off the uh, city center, so you just get a nice, because the views are, I know it's just a game, but the views are extremely important to pull off whatever kind of effect that I want. So yeah, so it's cool, I like it. So you come up here, and this is a real cool bookshelf. Nice, fine, <laughs> dark woods. Got a cool computer gaming center going on here. Media, whatever I want to do. And then this is like a, a small changing room. Uh, sort of wardrobe area. High-end houses have it. So I had to have it. Even though this, this room does have a closet. Can never have too many closets, I, I guess. And this is very, I, it, it, it's very, very luxurious, very rich looking, elegant. And then up here is, a, is the master bathroom. So there. And again, you get these gorgeous views of overlooking the jungle area because of all those jungle trees. And a lonely flock of bees just hanging around. All right, so we come back out here. 
and we go, oh yeah, the bathroom for the third floor. And this area here is really cool. I wonder where my, why didn't I put those there? I put them there. Hmm. No bother. It just adds, I like doing that with the, with the stairs because it just adds a little more detail. It breaks up the monotony of the, of a big wall. I can't do it there because I did them on the other side. Now, if I double walled it, then I could do something like that. So we come back in here and this is, this is a proper media room. All the stereo equipment is hidden in here. So you have to use your imagination. Yeah. So we got, this is where, this is, this is like the ultimate stereo listening room. Yeah, but it's not, because if you look at the acoustics of it, but, you know, you, you, again, you have to use your imagination. So there. So all the, all the stereo equipment, DVD, gameplay stuff will be hidden in here. Yeah. And then over here, I didn't know what to really do with this. This was going to be the office, but I like that. And like I said, this whole floor was built just for me. And if I'm sitting at the desk, I want to look out and see, sort of, a great view. <laughs> oh, I need help. Yes. So this is just a, a nice library. Very cool. With some elegant looking bookshelves. Book just a very quiet, nice place to sit and read with great views. Okay. So how's everybody doing out there? It, it, you know, we, we hit a, we hit a, um, I believe it was the coldest time of the year in Chicagoland. It got down to negative 25 without the windshield. With the windshield, it got, it crawled into like, they were predicting negative 50. So like my daughter's school, they closed on Monday. They opened on Tuesday, closed Wednesday and Thursday because of the, um, the dangerous weather. And they really, with the exception of Wednesday night, you know, there's no reason why they close school on Thursday and how they work, how they do that is they close the school, but at the end of the school year, they tack on extra days that were used for, you know, emergency weather. So my daughter's all happy that she didn't have to go to school. And I said, yeah, but you don't understand. Now you have, at the end of the school year, you have to go an extra four days because they've had four uh, emergency weather days, which immediately brought a frown to her face. <laughs> yeah. So, um, it was bad. I mean, if you stood outside with anybody that's from the Midwest will understand this, but if you stood outside for more than five minutes without gloves on, you started losing, you started losing feeling in your fingertips. And th at that temperature, that's when it's, it's very dangerous. You can get frostbite and all that other kind of good stuff. So I'm really happy on how this turned out. This was another project where halfway through I got burned out but when, once I started I did the live stream to do some more testing and I started building stuff and then it, it you know I had to finish it which I which I did so I'm really happy with how the color palette and everything turned out yes I know it's just a game but this is what I enjoy doing you play the game however you want and the, the funny thing about the live stream is somebody from Intel, I, I don't know if it was an official Intel channel or whatever the case was, uh, you know, and said, oh, you got to do a review of the, uh, the Lenovo. And I'm like, um, if this is true that this person is, <laughs> that this person is, is somehow officially 
with the Intel, you know, anything dealing with Intel, um, the Lenovo has a, a AMD processor. I mean, my daughter's Flexbook has the has the uh, Core i5, but this one has a Ryzen five. So, yeah, and it's been it's been running really good. I mean, it's powerful enough that it pulled off the live stream. The fans kicked up a little bit, and it didn't. Um, it was it at no point or time was it struggling or throttling, and that's the, that's one of the things that worried me because I had read so many things about the throttling. We're gonna borrow this real quick here. I want to see something how this is going to look if i do sometimes certain blocks do not like being cut so like that one and you see it, it kind of it disrupt because it doesn't follow you can see it doesn't follow the flow pattern no biggie No biggie, except it, we don't need we don't need that. So I did not want I did not want that in there. I'm not too I'm not too big on I like that I like these colors better than this one. However, that I used all these on there and the gray. Did not look good. So when we come back up here, I want to check one thing out real quickly. And if I go, hmm. now you see that would have worked up here. I could have changed it. But I think that the I think the brown leather contrasts enough, so I am happy with that. Oh, I missed one. Oh, I know why I didn't do that on here. I don't think I can. Man, I missed a lot of stuff here. So let's see, we take that out and put that in. But I don't know how that's going to work here. Yeah, that doesn't look, that doesn't look good. And that's because I used the, I changed the interior color of these walls to white. Okay. That's why I did not do that. But that one I can leave because it, it looks good. And I don't think, no, I can't because the other wall, I would have a ring around it. No, no worries. So right now, I don't know if you could hear the MacBook. The fans are, the fans are really kicking up. So uh, we hit negative 25. If you discount the, if you discount the wind chill and now it's 21 degrees, but the other problem is tomorrow, Friday or the Saturday, it's supposed to be in the thirties Sunday and Monday. It's supposed to get up to 47. So that's what that's what's going to kill everybody is the vast changes in temperature like that so i don't know i i don't mind it because hopefully it will get rid of all the snow so i want to do i want to do something back here i i kind of like this idea of that you know it's kind of built into the rock face but it's a little bit too extreme, so I'm going to have to see how about mellowing this out. I want to keep this, and I was thinking of 
like making digging this out a little bit to make a cove and do some kind of water feature or something like that but kind of don't need to so I'm real happy with it right now this is closed off because I haven't done anything in the interior yet on this one the floor plan I can mimic the floor plan on it there we go yes I can mimic the floor plan on it, but I don't want it to be the exact same as the other house. So it's basically an open canvas to do whatever I want with and change it. So again, at night, it just looks really cool. And there you have it. Other projects that I've completed, because I've had a light work week, and which enabled me to get stuff done, is my um, my Python project scripts that I've been do building on Python. I finally figured out, and um, yes. So anybody learning coding, make great use of try catch uh, statements. Because they help you. And I, I knew this. I just had a little... I kind of took a shortcut. And then had to figure out why my script was failing. And it turned out that I was using an old token. Um, for my script that goes out to Fitbit. Grabs my data. And then it parses the data. And finds all the information that I want. And then automatically adds it to my MySQL database that if you go to my website and you go to the chart page, on the chart page you'll see when you, when it opens, it'll see that it, it, it records that I put... Man, what happened here? That was supposed to go... Yeah, I thought something looked, I thought something looked kind of strange. So basically these here, and then I'll just change them around. Oh, I know why. It wasn't, a, it, it wasn't really a mistake because, all right. So what ha what happened over here is because there's that little that little doorway. So now that looks now that looks proper. So you come in here and the reason why it's not here is because that is for this post and then there's one on the other side, but now it looks it looks proper taken out. All the corners are in now. Cool. So I figured that out. I got my Mac Mini project 99% of the way done. It appears, thanks Apple, that on the older Mac Minis and MacBooks, anything like um, 1. 1, 1, 1 or, or 1.1 or 2.1, I have a 2.1 Mac Mini. And what it, what it does is I couldn't get any USB to boot, um, any USB Linux distro to boot on it and it says well you can use the um you could burn it to a dvd and go from, and, and then install the operating system from there and that's what i remember doing on the macbook before it unceremoniously met its death uh, at the hands of my daughter and a 12 ounce glass of milk <laughs> last year and uh this new laptop she has she knows no drinks near it even though I do have the accidental damage uh, warranty on it, but we won't tell her that. And um, so what it... Oh, okay, it's one. So what ended up happening is, um, to boot off of... It's a, it's a EUFI boot. It's not a BIOS boot, like on your, P, you know, your older PCs and stuff like that. 
So what ended up happening is none of the distributions would boot because they required 64-bit. And it turns out that Apple has played around with, or when they originally came out, it's not this, like this on the newer, on the newer Apples, but on the older Apples, they had a 32-bit EUFI partition. So I did find, there's a couple links. Um, I'm going to do a blog post on it. There is a couple links that will, uh, anybody that's, because a lot of people, I guess, a lot of this old Mac hardware, they like to turn into Linux machines. Why not? Since Apple's not supporting it, who cares what you do with it? It's your machine. Steve Jobs would like to think otherwise because you're not you're not buying a new a new computer and they want you to buy new computers so there's a file and i guess there's a, a tablet that also does this with the 32 bit um bootloader and even though the the, the processor is 64 bit arm processor and so that's the completed townhouse very cool and i'm gonna add one more other thing a chimney because I always forget that. And um, so what they, what they ended up doing was I had to download, I found a file. Now there's, for Mac users, there's a thing called Refind. And what it is, it's a bootloader for, um, it's a, it's a bootloader, bootlo boot manager for um, Intel Max, and it works really nice. So what, what they ended up doing is you make your 64-bit DVD or your, your USB key, and there we go. And after you make it, you drop this file into the E, you, the um, EFI boot section of the thumb drive. And it's, it's all in the instructions. And then lo and behold, the Mac booted. I'm up on the tree. Not anymore, I'm not. There we go. How's that for realism? So let's take a walk down here. That is a completed townhouse. Finally done with that. Three episodes on that. Yeah, but it turned out. So I ended up... Finally, being able to boot this Mac, 2007 Mac Mini, and I, I chose wrong again because I put uh, Ubuntu Budgie on it because I really like the Budgie desktop, which is used by the Solus Project, or they, they're the ones that created it. And, oh, and uh, I figured... Okay, well, I know Ubuntu is going to work fine on this machine because I've had it on other Macs, and it booted on my um, 2015 Mac Book Air perfectly. So it runs, it runs really good, but it uses up uh, 1.2 gig of memory at idle. So I booted into some of my other distributions, and GNOME and Anything GNOME based, and a, and Budgie I believe is built off of GNOME or GTK three. So anybody not in the computers, this might be a little bit boring, but um, I know a lot of the people that that watch my videos, they're IT people or they they get into tweaking and playing with computers. So I'll make it real brief. So basically, it's using a, it's using an awful lot of memory at stock, but it's it's usable. It's not usable for anything serious. I mean, you could edit pictures on it. You could surf the web on it perfectly. Uh, gameplay is useless. Um, you know, anything anything that's real high demand. You know, all all my programming stuff would work would work on it real well. But anything graphic or media related, no, forget about it. It will, however, that was weird. It will, however, run mind test as a server which i can log into and that's that's one of the cool things about it 
so I could run a server instance on there whenever, you know, I can, my daughter or her friends want to, want to, you know, they're bored and they want to play something. They've done it before in the past and it, it, so it can be logged into and it works perfectly. So it is running and the whole reason why is because the super drive is dirty. I hear mechanical things going on in it. So I know that it's working. I know the head is moving and the disc is spinning when I put a disc in there. But yeah, it, it, all the years of grime that's built up on the on the optical sensor of it, it's it's dirty. So I got to find a DVD cleaner and see if I can I can repair that. Other than that, it works. I probably am going to replace Budgie if I want to do anything more serious with this machine and go with um, a lighter desktop and or different uh, distribution altogether since it doesn't have to really do anything. I know KDE Neon is, uh, I think last time I measured it, it was only uh, 600 meg at idle. So yeah. So that's it on that. So I completed a whole bunch of projects. Everything's everything's working out. I got this completed. There's another piece of uh, meat over here. Yes, I love that sound. Yes, we know. And go from there. So that's going to do it for this. Um, yeah, I'm really happy how this townhome turned out. And it just needs a little more love on the outside with the landscaping and figure out what I'm going to do with these walls here. And go from there. So thank you very much for joining. Um, and if you're watching on the live stream, I will be doing some more live stream testing um, before I, like I said, commit to any kind of schedule and go from there. So that's going to wrap up another exciting episode of mind test gameplay of sorts and uh, hopefully everybody enjoys the warmer weather that's coming in the next couple days in the midwest i know nathan and um uh krebs uh june yeah out in uh nebraska got to be got to be loving the break in the cold weather so again thank you very much for watching um until the next video Goodbye.